This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. Good morning and welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Today is Monday, Monday, September 16th. It's a little after 11 o'clock in the morning. Once again, this is C.A. Nuri, and I shall be your host for the day. Today, I need energy. Today, I need excitement. Today, I need perseverance because... I can be talking about Chick Chinese. No, 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 not Erin Green. Chick Chinese was disappear in a pair and, and come and raid her trees. But actually, a Chick Chinese challenge. This is the country's premier obstacle course race. This is where people around the country gravitate. It's like a mecca. You know, when everyone comes here to the Bahamas, in fact, they have people across the world now who gravitates to the Bahamas once a year to participate in one of the biggest, one of the greatest, I was going to call it a fete because it's going to be a big party, right? But it's, 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 it's more than a fete. It's more than a party. It's where who's who in athleticism or athleticism, how you pronounce the word, Aaron? Athleticism. See? That's why you need media personalities here with you <laughs> to pronounce these words better. But I have Chester Robard, who is the, the CEO, the, the brain thinker about this Chick Chani challenge, right? And he's going to tell me about what it is, how he came about it, um, why people are gravitating to it, scraping the wall to say, I want participate in it. Because I want to participate in it. I asked Erin if she willing to run with me, and, and she looked at me with that sly look. She said, she's walk. Listen, it was I, Aaron's idea to put a team together. I eat Goku Ganep. You say you need energy to be yeah. on my team? You need to eat Goku Ganep. Not regular Ganep. Goku Ganep. Yes. <laughs> Goku Ganep. But let me, let me introduce uh, uh, Chester Robard. Chester, thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, no. Thank you for having me. No, no, no. It's a big thing. See, the Chick Chani Challenge is not a local or small-time entity. It's a big-time thing. There are a number of people have been hearing about it, but I said, let me sit you down so I can understand what it is. Yeah. First, I need to get a narrative. I need to get a narrative of what is the Chick Chani Challenge, how was it started, yeah. and then describe it to my listening audience because I get excited about it, right? And I need yeah. them to understand why I'm so excited about this Chick Chani Challenge. Yeah, so we started in 2015. That's when we had our first run. Um, so you'll hear in the, in the obstacle world, OCR, Obstacle Course Run. I don't like to call it a race because uh, it is a race when you're in a competition, but uh, some of it is a competition, but people get scared when they hear competition. Like they have to be part of the competition if they sign up, not necessarily, right? But um, so o- obstacle course runs happen uh, around the world. It, it is one of the biggest participatory sports in the world now. And um, obstacle course racing uh, will be in the next Olympics as part of the modern day pentathlon. So you'll see an obstacle course in the modern day pentathlon in the next, in the upcoming Olympics. So what's the steeplechase? That is uh, part of the, the name isn't gonna come to me right now, but that's a part of the, it's not it won't an come op- to me. It's not part of the pentathlon. But it's not an obstacle course. No, but it's, it, it's, a, bohemian participant it's a multidisciplinary, yeah, uh, what's his name? It's not decathlon. Deca- it was the, the decathlon? Yeah, decathlon. It was decathlon. Yeah, decathlon. Yeah. yeah. All right. It was the, so that's part of the decathlon. Okay. So I, I still want to picture what is an obstacle course, an ORC. What is it? OCR. 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 Right. What is OCR? Exactly. So, Describe this Chinese challenge. Right. And then tell me exactly why you started one. So, so what happens is we, we uh, set up a course. It could be one mile. It could be three miles. It could be five miles. Ours, ours is typically a 5K, so three miles. And what we do is we just dot obstacles along that three-mile course. Um, typically, uh, some of the things that you'll find in a standard OCR, I should say standard, um, rope climb, uh, you'll find uh, walls to jump over, things to crawl under, typically something heavy to carry, a sandbag, uh, atlas. Um, and then there are like specialized challenges like uh, Spartan is famous for its uh, spear throw. 
um, we are introducing an axe throw in, in our event, and you'll have a spear throw. Uh, people think that's that's just like, oh, you just throw a spear, but it's much, it's much difficult than that. We can have an axe throw? What's that? Like throw your axe? Yeah. That's a good idea. But you know what? How, how, what is the name? Valentine's. We could, we could do it. <laughs> we have a Valentine's event with that. There is a number of organizations who is uh, gravitating to this. I see all of the, like I say, athletics people, the people who train, say, yeah. hey, I, I want to participate in this. This is what, what is the thing to participate right. What is gravitating them to that? So what, what it is, is we have a lot of road events. We have lots of 5Ks. We got uh, half marathons and, and road events where you just run. That's all you do. Um, you have specialized sports. Maybe you throw a discus. Maybe you throw a shot put. Um, a lot of it doesn't, doesn't really require everything that you've built up in training. Let's say you go to the gym. You're working upper body, you're working lower body, you're wondering why you're squatting. Well, you're squatting so you could pick up, you know, a 50-pound atlas and walk with it for a couple meters. Um, you, you're doing your, your cardio so that you could run up a steep hill with a sandbag and come back down and not pant the rest of the, the course, right? You pant your way through the rest of the course. Um, you know, why are you working on, on kind of like f- the flexibility of your shoulders so you could throw a spear? or an axe. Um, so I think people gravitate towards this, and it's one of the reasons I did, is because uh, it works all of you. Every part of you that you've been training, that you've been working on, the muscles you've been toning, if you don't use them in everyday life, um, they, you lose them, right? You don't use them, you lose them. Um, and, and, and a lot of it is practical. So what you talk about when you're training for uh, an obstacle course run is... Um, body movements um, that are functional. So you hear about um, uh, CrossFit. It's, called, it's, it's part of functional fitness. What Spartan Race does in, in their training programs is called functional fitness. So if you carry in, you go into Miami, you got two suitcases, they overload it, the airline could charge you plenty of money for them, you got to carry them to the airport. That's functional. Mm-hmm. You got to move these two bags, especially if the wheels broke, right? Mm-hmm. You're carrying them. Um, if you're going upstairs, you, the wheels ain't no, ain't no good to you. You have to carry right. them side by side. Yeah. And, and there's, there's a, a challenge in some of these obstacle course races called the, the uh, bag carry. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's the same thing, right? This is why I said throw your ex because there's a... <laughs> that makes sense. No, there's some obstacle courses where... It's functional. Right, no, yeah. there are obstacle courses where you carry your spouse. Right? Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. have to do mm-hmm. like a fireman's yeah. throw and yeah. you have to no, carry I don't, your... I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned. I'm picturing it in my head. No, I'm, I'm not interested in that part. You, you mentioned what got me into it. I, I did my first obstacle course run in 2013, uh, shortly after I did my first half marathon. And, um, and my friend was, I'm like, running was fun. Fine. I, I, com- I completed the half marathon. Now what else? Yeah, What's right. next? Mm-hmm. Um, I could run 13 miles. Fine. But can I run 13 miles? Can I climb over a wall and then run a couple more miles and then you know, lift a, a dead tree and then run a couple more miles and climb a, 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 a cargo net. You know, can I do all that? And I, I want to hear more about it, right? The, 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 the course itself, yeah. what to expect, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or for previous courses. But I want to know who participates in this. Because Aaron challenged me, said, we're going to do this. And I said, Aaron, no, 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 no. I'm not sure if this is built for me and yeah. you to do, yeah. right? And you say... Earlier you mentioned sometimes you got to train or prepare for such an event. Yeah. So what type of bohemian, what type mm-hmm. of person participates in this Chick Chani Run Challenge? Everybody, everybody. Our last city run, we had people from all walks of life, all sizes, all shapes. Uh, what part- do you mean all sizes? Size all sizes. Andrus. All size. Size Andrus. Andrus. Andrus size people I, participate I, inside this Chick Chani Run? If that's what you call them. <laughs> I from Andrus. That's oh, my I don't size. have to be a fast runner. No, of course size. not. No, you know, the, the whole point about it is you want to challenge yourself. And, and that's really um, our motto, right, is, is progress over pretense. It's not about how good you look. It's not about how fast you're going to finish. It's about getting to that obstacle, seeing if you could do it, and not giving up if you have a little bit of difficulty. Asking for help if you need it. Ask, tell me the age 
range for this. So I'm trying go, to picture this in my head. We go from about seven years old all the way up to... You have seven-year-old people participate in the yeah. Chick Charity yeah. Challenge? We, we've had them running through the bush, running through the city. Yeah. And then you have elderly, elderly participating inside this too? Matured yeah. behemoths. Matured, I mean. yeah, absolutely. Um, I think some of the oldest people we've had were, were people who, uh, funnily enough, were on vacation, ended up hearing about it. They were leaving in a couple of days and it was during the time they were on vacation. They signed up. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two, elderly, two elderly individuals and, and they actually they did very well. They won their category? Yeah, they did very well. So what are the age categories? So we don't have age categories. So I have to compete against the young people? Absolutely. The 70 year olds. <laughs> can I can you, compete against can the 70 year olds. You imagine you start in this, this your, your run, right? Uh -huh. And next to you is a, a seven, eight year old and, and looking at you said, I can beat you? See, it gets worse. <laughs> I can just take off and start running? Yeah. It, it gets worse. Imagine you at the wall, right? And you waiting for somebody to lift you, to give you that boost, to pull you up over the wall. And when you turn your head, you see somebody lifting the little seven-year-old up with one hand and fling them <laughs> over the wall. Yeah, and can can I do that? Like assist my seven-year-old? So we going over this wall together? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so if you're if you're in a in a global competition, so like last year, um, Spartan hosted their world kids world championships here over Atlantis. Um, what? Yeah, they had the, the kids know? world championships. Go over ahead, Atlantis. go ahead. And you know how many little Bahamian children is run through, is jump through hoops for the public and, education system and still and, succeed? And let me tell you that 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 gigantic organization that is Spartan um, put out a call for Bahamian school kids, school age kids to come and do that particular course that, mm -hmm. that the championship course was going to go through uh, for free. For free. And only a handful of uh, people took advantage of it, sadly. But I think it's about dissemination of the information, information. And co so, so that people could coordinate, right? Yeah, that too. Um, but I found in, in doing this for almost 10 years that... Uh, there is a unnecessary fear in doing an obstacle course race. But this sounds fun, though. I'm, I don't see the fair factor I in it. I think it's fair. Especially me, when you try to describe it. Okay, what it is. so watch this. I, I understand it, right? When I was a little girl and playing in my neighborhood uh, with all the by them, mm -hmm. uh, uh, now MP Adrian White and, and his brother and Rick Fox, little brother and all of them, they were stunt by. They were stunt man. They had yeah. a, a ramp and they used to go up on a bicycle and thing. And by that point in time, I stopped going outside barefoot because I done cut up my foot once and I I finished with stunt manning. Yeah. Right? And so it was just watching like one bad accident, which wasn't even like in the neighborhood. Yeah. It was outside the neighborhood. And so I understand from that point on, I don't stunt, I don't skateboard, I don't do nothing that could flip me in the air by accident. Nah. Chester, before we go on to find on how to register, right, mm -hmm. and who registers in yeah. terms of groups and organizations, right, right. in the past, yeah. uh, let's engage this person who's on the phone right sure. now. Go ahead, Carla. Can you hear me? We're talking to Chester Robot. We're talking about the Chick Chani Run Challenge. Go ahead, Carla. Call girl once. Not there, Eric, uh, April? Nope. Okay. All right. So just before you move on, me, I scary. Mm -hmm. I could come in pad, helmet, right? I could send my kid out in the little yeah, elbow sure. pad and sure, the knee pad not? and the little thing. Just maybe a little el uh, wrist guard. Yeah. I just want, as a parent yeah. or voice, as an auntie who taking my niece or nephew to go do something, yeah. I just want to know that they could be a little safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put them in a helmet. Why not? They can want me to come. I can wear a helmet. Yeah. But you, you, typically, um, you typically see parents running with their kids. How do, what, how do they dress? Like, I, Aaron again challenged me and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'll be coming. Yeah. Right? What do I wear? The sports I, clothes. Tights. Sports clothes. Tights. Some some running shorts. Usain, some running shorts. Usain Bolt. You 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 might get dirty. Um, with, there is a crawl. That's another kind of staple that in in uh, in our race. Mm -hmm. um, and the crawl is uh, if people have known our crawl, it's longer this time. It's longer. longer. It's a longer. And, crawl. I, and I crawl underneath something in dirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. No mud. Just dirt. I hope there's much. You ever, hope you, ever sneak, you ever sneak out your house and had to crawl under your parents' windows, like quietly, so they don't uh, see I you? I crawled through some windows when I was about 22. Oh. But that's a different obstacle course. Functional, though. There's functional. Ah, functional. functional. So everything working together. Yeah. I, say, I need to get back in my, my, my youth type <laughs> body. But you don't need to go through windows anymore. No, no, no. Okay, no, good. no. I just go in the front door now. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I reach. So you're like, are we simulating climbing a coconut tree? Like no. get, who could throw the throw the ladder up against the thing and get up the fastest? I I wish I wish climbing coconut tree is not easy. So no, but, and I don't know the proper form. I could show you how to climb a, a rope. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, again, um, 
people think that they need all the upper body strength in the world to climb a, a rope, as in like a competition rope climb. You mm -hmm. don't, you just need a foot technique and you can make it up to the top. Before I move on, when is the Chikchani challenge, first of all? So our, yeah, so our challenge is September 28th. September 28th, coming up. It's coming up. Okay. So Not this weekend. One, weekend after. one Saturday away. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and we, we start at 6 a.m. Uh, that's when... 6 you know, o'clock in the morning. Everybody kind of gather in there at our little... You see on the fly, it says breakfast fat, where we kind of kind of be, you know, chilling, partying until we get on the road. No, um, I want you to describe yeah. that. Because you mentioned breakfast fat. Yeah. I picture in breakfast food before I start running. So uh, what time do I need to be there? Mm -hmm. And uh, explain the breakfast fat and then what I expect to do after that. So well, I like to throw a theme on all of our... It gets monotonous for some people. People want to do it over and over again. That's why we move it around. Um, so we, we started in Clifton Heritage Park. They're, again, they're great partners. We do a lot of things with them, including rock climbing. Um, so what we did in 2019 was we moved it to the city. And, um, and we partnered with Pirate Republic in that, in, in that uh, instance. And we kind of had like, you know, a little... Um, nice little party there at Pirate Republic when we started and then we finished. People hung around. We had some pirate beer to replenish the carbohydrates from the run. And, and we had a good, good old time. Uh, so this time is going to be kind of different. Uh, in 2019, our final obstacle was, was the rope climb. And it was at the finish line. So people were able to kind of see people do it, which is enjoyable, right? Um, it, Obstacle course running is a great spectacle, a great spectator event. This year at Crypto Wild, our, our, again, great partners for us. Um, we're going to be in their space, and we're going to have three obstacles in that space. So Isla Shirley Street? That's, Where is that, that? that's um, East Bay Street, East Bay right Street. before the bridge where yes. Luciano's used to be. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, again, great space. Uh, so we could fit three obstacles there, and, and people are going to get to see people do it. So... You know, if, you're, if your cheer crew is coming with you, they're going to be able to interact with vendors. They're going to be able to um, participate in some obstacles that are not on the course, but things that they can try out um, and, and just have fun until you get back there in, in, in a half an hour so to, to an hour. So spectators able to, part I mean, virtually have things to do too? Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to have stuff for them to do. Um, and again, this is a first for us. Uh, we, we, we are expanding... Um, our offering and what we kind of do. And again, Crypto Wild was a great site for that because we could fit three obstacles and then people are able to interact, mm -hmm. watch, clap, chair. Parking. Yeah, so parking is going to be... On, uh, the, on Crypto Wild location? No, no. So we, we can't park inside Crypto Wild that day. But um, across the road, we're, gonna, we're reaching out to some, some of the... Esplanade? Some of the... And yeah, businesses in the businesses area. Businesses in the area and uh, seeing how we can work that out. Okay. Yeah, April. Is that a caller there? Okay, we'll engage the caller now. Then, go ahead, caller. Can you hear us? Hey, good morning, Mr. Neary, and good morning again, Erin. Good morning to your guest. Good morning, good morning. Um, Chester I, Robot. I like this. What he's talking about the obstacle course, and um, it sounds like something he can do, and 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 he's like changing it from from year to year to make it better. So I'm I'm having a, a, a an idea. Of how about you put in for a land grant and get a nice big portion of land somewhere there in the west and just use that as an actual park uh, uh, um, where you can put your your stuff permanently up mm -hmm. and, and from year to year you can add something outside of the park in it, you know, would you think of something like that? No, it's a great idea. No, it's a, it's an absolutely great idea. And um, I've, it, somebody's pitched it to me before um, and a few other things are kind of happening in that realm right now. Um, so we're, we're in kind of a wait and see mode. Um, because that could be another tourist attraction too, because you have a lot of athletic um, 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 persons that travel here and they themselves can, can either, you know, foresee to use the park when they're here to do different exercises, to do different, like how you said, a rock climbing, you could make, it, make some like miniature for the smaller kids and, yeah. you know, as you, as you go up to different heights and then, the crawling thing, I'd love, I'd, if, you know, if you know mud, get some water and hose it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I put my t-shirt off. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I, that, that's my idea. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that. Thanks very much. Um, okay. So, again, things are happening. Uh, there, there is a foreign investor 
and I, I saw this in a press release, uh, who is, he, he's, he's got that place out there now. They've got like a challenge course, a boxing ring, okay. doing all kinds of things, and he's expanding his offering. And part of what he wants to put out in the property that he's bought is, is some obstacle in the course. West? In the West? In the West. Okay. Okay. Um, Thing to do. But let's talk pricing and still who mm -hmm. tends to partner with you and say, you tend to see all the time showing up. You know, you say the age starts from like seven year olds to, to yeah. mature bohemians. But um, what type of person tends to say, hey, I come in? You always see them. They always participate. So, so you would think it's kind of, well, you know, gym people. Gym people, people show up. Gym yeah. people show gym up. People show up. So if but, you're in the um, gym, more likely you could use this as part of your training exercise. Yeah. Okay. But but more than that, um, we always uh, big up doctors' hospital. We always have a big contingent of, of doctors' Wait, hospital a runners. Doctors' hospital send a team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, they send yeah. a team. We always have a big contingent of them. Um, uh, Braun uh, and you know that that team they they come out all the time. Braun B R A W N. No no. <laughs> they have that too, but yeah. B R O N. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Braun, yeah, Braun. The environmental... Uh, oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know what Braun was. That's going to development. Yeah. Okay. So they, 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 they always have a, a good team to come out and, and participate. Because a lot of their work, like you work in outdoors, yeah. it's functional fitness all yeah. the time. Oh, yeah, oh so, yeah. But who we haven't seen in, in, in vast amounts and who we kind of invite a lot are RBDF and RBPF and teams. Ah. But we do have RBDF rangers who have already signed up for this particular event. So I was happy to see that because we did something with the Ministry of Youth for them last year. Mm -hmm. And um, they went through our obstacle. There was a, a, a short course is what yeah. we call it. So like a 50 meter, all the obstacles are stuck into one, almost like American Ninja Warrior. And they go through it quickly in, in, in a relay style. Look here, Mr. Guardian reporter. I can need you to link up with Sheldon Longley, right? because uh, the Bahamas government departmental basketball and softball leagues mm -hmm. are playing now. Yeah. That's, and they got all the teams, right? So they, mm -hmm. you don't have to organize new teams. Yeah. They got all the telecom team mm -hmm. and three different uniform officers. They got rangers and defense force officers and police. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think shockers, BPL. So they already organized. That's, I think that's the space you go into to yeah. get them to yeah. do the obstacle course. Yeah. So how do people get in contact with you? If I'm part of a youth program and I say, this is a bonding exercise I want us to go through. If I'm part of a church program, yeah. this is a bonding exercise I want to go through. How do I get in contact with you to well, register? What's the price and stuff and, like that? And can you do a church, like a, a church youth themed obstacle run, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. We, we, we've, done, we've done those kinds of things, private events. Uh, yeah. obstacle, well, we private obstacle events. events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we, our website is down for maintenance right now with a terrible time for that. Um, but mm -hmm. my web guy is working diligently on it. Hopefully it's up before next week. But uh, it's chickchonnychallenge.com. Chick Chick yeah. You can find us there. Um, also Chick Chani Churin. Uh, we've kind of moved away from that. Um, and our social media pages, you can find all our information there. Uh, sign up, the sign up link, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you can find us there, TikTok now. Um, and what's the, co what's the cost? So it's uh, $75 per per person, mm -hmm. individuals. If you're in a group of four or more, $65. Okay. Um, if you are under 18, $50 if you're single, and 45 if you're in a group of four or more. Oh, uh, if I'm under 18 and single. Because <laughs> everybody <laughs> under 18 Not like single. mingling, not like oh, not that single. Because yeah, yeah. all of y'all under 18 they, they single, single, please, single, and thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give me the time range for the event. Right. You'd say 6 o'clock. So, yeah, we, we start at 6, so we want people there by 6. Uh, we're probably going to get the first group out because we're going to start in waves uh, by 6.30. Everybody's going to get their start time uh, just before the event. Okay. Uh, but we want everybody out there, you know, kind of getting ready, getting prepared. And uh, we want a little bit of sun peeking out at least so you can see where you're so going. You're going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you by that time. Where's the starting place? Crypto Wild. So you start, we with, start crypto with Crypto Wild. And then where do I go from Crypto Wild? And then, we go in, and then we're, we're going east. East. Yeah. Okay. And run towards where? So we, we, we're running towards, uh, along East Bay Street, there's, there's obstacles. And then we're running towards Kalina. Kalina's a great partner and sponsor of ours. So we're turning around at Kalina. And then we're going west again. Mm -hmm. um, west is going to take us back through East Bay and then to Shirley mm -hmm. for a stint. And then we're gonna go back on. Where do we, on East where do we Bay. cross? Where do we cross over to Shirley? Where? Yeah. You going through the corner? Which one? Um, I don't know the name of it. Oh, the, no one, the one where the the National uh, Performing Arts Center is. 
I don't know the name of that corner. Okay, he's called okay. the Archer William's Archer. Court. That's what it is. I think that's it's William's Court. Court. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever remember the name of okay. it. But we're going to that corner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the one, yeah. the one in between the liquor store and the 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 seafood. Right, the seafood. High end. Yeah, that corner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Essex Street is one opposite, which by the the the, the oh the, the clothing place. Clothing place. Yeah. Sun tea. Sun tea. Sun tea. And then you go yeah. opposite. That's what you talk about, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. That corner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we, we're going through there to hit Shirley Street, and then um, and then we go back on to uh, East Bay via Mackey Street. That's a long natural obstacle. Plenty. <laughs> there, let, let's make a note right right now. Saturday, the 28th of September, 6 a.m. Y'all stop turning right on red. Y'all just follow every single traffic control, please, while the people them are using yeah. the road that, for their obstacle that, course. That, that's why early in the morning, again, is, is a, be- a good time, too, because so, some yeah. of the... Like I said, Aaron and I committed to this, right? Suppose I want to bring my wife... To participate with us, mm-hmm. right? That's like a bonding exercise. You right? let the wife throw me. You say, you, you know, say, let you you throw Aaron. She's strong. Make this She's way. strong. Now we don't have any experience climbing rope, right? How I can get this woman across this rope? How you can get her rope? Up, up the rope. rope. Yeah, I mean, cross like, is easy. Is there anyone to show you? Like, well, this is how you should climb it. I. I, I could show you, or you know. I mean, like if someone might say no. I, would, I, I may have to let two people go ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. But what, what I what I tell people to do is 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 I give you the name of the technique. It's called the J hook. And if you find the J hook, you can find tutorial videos online. See? If you find the J hook, you'll be able to see other kind of techniques that that are kind of like J hook. The J hook can get you up the rope. Obviously, you don't watch obstacle course on TV. When I watch obstacle course on TV, before each new obstacle do you have they show a video of somebody showing you how to do the obstacle in case you want to do it at home yeah we, that's what oh, okay. we need a little tutorial for each obstacle yeah yeah i, I did a tutorial once um it, actually our first city run we had our tyrolean in traverse and i did a tutorial video on that because mo- a lot of people don't really understand how to do a tyrolean in traverse tyrolean 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 oh traverse. tyrolean like right. my boy tyrone a yeah, tyrolean yeah okay i get and it if you find it difficult you gotta call him to help you out um, but I did a video to That's show what people Erica how to, Badu say, how to call, get through it. Yeah, absolutely. Call Tyrone. Mm-hmm. So you had the rangers who participate in something similar. Right. Right. So for like Youth it, Month uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, so d- do you tend to have a lot of youth people participating inside the Czech Channel Challenge? So no. Um, again, it, it's, a, it's a sport that we are trying to build up in the country. It's big. It's big globally. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, as you can see, we have... Spartan has a whole kids world championship. It's not the only place that it's done. And so if there's a kids world championships, there are national events all over the place to get these kids together to, Mm -hmm. and they were from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Um, Participants from all over the world, China, uh, India, Philippines, all over the place, right? And there's so many themes Mm -hmm. that could be attached, right? Like we're talking about getting the uniform forces out to participate in the uh, uh, the city run challenge, but they have um, firemen games. They, they have, do. They have oh, uniform oh, that's such games. A, that's such a great like thing to watch. Right, and then yeah. you could you then you could have the EMTs and the medics competing mm-hmm. with the rangers, competing with the police, yeah. competing right with the defense force. Um, but then we could theme it up. I ready to I ready for y'all to go to the Holy Land in in, in Mangrove Key, yeah, South yeah. Andres now, yeah, and yeah. do a religious theme. Yeah. You'd be surprised. How we, many people would do that? We um we did a event for disaster a, a few years in a row, uh, the Disaster Management um, uh, Authority, and um and we incorporate so it's a team event. We incorporate a backboard. Mm-hmm. So let's say you get somebody injured, you got to carry a backboard. How does that feel? No, nobody really knows what the weight of somebody on a backboard is. And then how to coordinate? If you have four, and how to coordinate? Picking it up, putting them on it. Yeah. Um. So we did we did that for um SBDC in in the uh, this year. Uh, during their their event, um, which we had indoors, so we had an indoor obstacle challenge for them. Uh, that was great. That was fun. You mentioned that Chick Channing Challenge tend to do private functions. Yeah, tell us about that. How can my church group, my youth group, call Chick Chani and say, "Hey, can you create an obstacle course for us?" Yeah, so they just get in contact with us, and, and people and people do that. They they say, "Hey, you know, I got this thing coming up," um, you know. Of course, people want to know how much it is first, but yeah. <laughs> but we we tailor it so that you know it could fit your budget. Um, some obstacles are much more grueling for us to set up mm-hmm. than others, mm-hmm. and so you know some of the easier ones are, are a little bit 
less expensive. If if you want some some obstacles where you work in your upper body, like hanging things, it's a little more expensive. We got a whole trussing system that we have to put up for those things, um, and and it works me out and works our team out <laughs> while we trying to prepare to work you out, right? So, so you've been doing this from 2015. 2015. It's now yeah. what? That's ten years later, is it? Aaron, nine, I can't count. Nine? Nine, nine years later. Yeah. And it's growing. Every year you change it and tweak it a bit. Yeah. Uh, have more participants yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's say the I win. Is, oh, yeah. Say I win. Yeah. What do I get? If you win. No, me personally, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we, have, we have great prizes again. Um, uh, we, we, we have Comfort Suites. We have a prize from Comfort Suites right now as a great prize. I want to win. I can't win. Um, you don't get no mister? A um, oh, what? A mister. A oh, mister? Like misting? <laughs> yes, like misting. But you know what I meant? Uh, I can come and win a whole man. Yeah. I can catch and win a whole yeah. man. So, yeah, no, we have, we have, we have uh, our partners at Comfort Suites. We have great prizes there. Uh, Collect Light, which is going to be your finish line bear. We got some prizes from them. Um, that's always a big thing. Like, some people do these things just to get their bear at the finish line. Can you put bear in the mister? I ain't going to win nothing. You could. You could I ain't going to win nothing. I just need to you know when I that. reach, I ain't going to die. Because I feel like I can... When you say that, what do you mean? I mean... Die, I, like how? Like fall out from exhaustion oh, because... No, no, no. But no, like the misters, so the area yeah, we, we is nice have mist, cool. Yeah, we have, we have misters. Because right. somebody do. said... Hey, I say, we can well, put bear in them, but we have them. Somebody yeah. say, why well, you don't do it in the winter months when it's a little cooler? Is there a reason? Or like, which events do you do in the so, summer and which do you do in the winter? So there is. Uh, there has been... We, we have kind of been stopped by the, the sheer number of events that happen in, in the winter season. Ah. December's out. Nobody interested in doing much. Yeah. Um, January was typically your, uh, your 5K marathon, marathon yeah, yeah. month. So people doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of things going on in February. We, we, we do want to do like a couples of, we've been trying to put that couples event together. So uh, maybe look out for something in February. Uh, there are also other things, mm-hmm. you know, uh, that happen in in February, uh, and then we, as we move into March, Easter, and, and all these things. So, we actually had have not had the same date for this event ever. Always we always switched it. Mm-hmm. Um, we might keep it consistent now, and uh, the, I, I saved this point for for you because uh, you know you were like, oh yeah, come on the show. I appreciate so. So we were associated now with the International Federation of Obstacle Course Racing. It's called FISO. Uh, it is the and FISO is the Federation Internationale des Sports Obstacles. It's just the Obstacles Course uh, Federation, um, and they are related uh, to the Union Internationale des Pentathlon Modern, which really just means that's how they've been able to um, inculcate obstacle course racing into the Olympic sport. Mm-hmm. Um, so the uh, modern pentathlon association pulled out horse riding, and that's replaced by an obstacle course. Okay. Yeah. You think the Bahamas could Hold on. So that too? Ho- horse riding was in the modern pentathlon. Horse riding, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh. So, but, but I mean, yeah. do you think we have athletes who can actually participate? I in that? know. I know we have athletes who can make it to uh, to that. Nice. We can talk about that, right? We can take a short break now. Uh, this is Guardian Radio AM. We're talking to Chester Robards about this coming, no, next week, Saturday. Saturday September the 28th. The 28th, September the 28th. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be Chikchani uh, Challenge. Mm-hmm. This is an obstacle course. They call it the o- 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 OCR. OCR, OCR race, right? And they're giving details about it. Uh, they're saying for mayor $75, we can go back to the price again, yeah. right? And, and how to register, where to register. Uh, and what all comes with that registration, right? We're going to take a quick break and come right back to continue the conversation. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. When you jump in your Japanese import and you turn the radio on, all you hear is... <laughs> (laughs) 
For the month of September, the HitSpot will install a band extender in your Japanese import for the discounted rate of only $79.99, that included. Get your band expander installed today at the HitSpot and listen to Star 106.5. Plus, get fresh news and smart talk on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Are you tired of the same old 5K runs? Want something more? Then get ready for the Chick Charney Challenge City Run on September 28th, starting at Crypto Wild. Test your strength, stamina, and spirit. It takes all of you to dodge, climb, conquer obstacles as you race through the heart of the city. Lace up and get to the Chick Charney Challenge City Run. Register now on our website, chickcharneychurn.com, or on our social media pages. Brought to you by Kalina, Island Yogurt, Advantage Insurance, Art of Graphics, Crypto Wild, and Guardian Radio 96.9. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. And welcome back to Guardian Radio AM. Of course, this is C.A. Nuri and Aaron Green is with me. We have Chester, Chester Robard with us, uh, who is talking about the Chikchani Challenge, right? Um, yeah. It's big news for them. They finally and they are recognized by this international federation, right? Yeah. And I want to go in detail w about that, right? Uh, because it seems as if we can now create the pathway to have a Bahamian qualify to go to the Olympics in the next four years to participate yeah. in this uh, in this um, obstacle, uh, obstacle course. course running. I'm kind yeah. of excited about that. I see I have one caller on the line, but before that, um, I just want to read this, right? If you have a Japanese import vehicle and you know and you're not able to basically listen to Guardian Radio at all, especially my show, right? At, that comes on 11, 11 a.m. Um, it's time to go to Hit, Hit Sports, right? Hit Sport is having a seventy nine dollars ninety nine cents special. This is includes VAT, so you can mention the show and say, "Man, I heard this on Guardian Radio AM," and get this discount where they get they get in place inside your car uh, a band extender equipment. And this includes the insulation. And this is happening, this special is happening during the entire month of September. So just go to the hit spot, get that band extender. So you can listen to me. You can listen to me. And of course, when Aaron comes on, you can listen to her too, right? So that's what you got to do. But we can continue the conversation with Chester, right? Chester, yes. this is big news about the possibility of more Bohemians qualifying for the Olympics, especially yeah. with the type of times we have Bohemians doing with yeah. your program. Tell us more about the importance placed by this international grouping. Yeah, so okay, Olympics is cool, but you know, you you got world championships that happen, and it'll be nice to have a Bohemian at the top there too. Uh, so what what in obstacle course racing? While while it's kind of a dedicated, it has its own dedicated uh, federation and its own dedicated uh, e global events, um, what obstacle, how obstacle got itself into the Olympics is by uh, convincing the pentathlon, the UIPM, um, that it, it's a great sport to, to add to, to their event. Because I think they were looking to replace um, horse riding, which was kind of like show jumping as well, mm -hmm. um, uh, at, for some time. So they've agreed that they, they're going to try this out for the next Olympics, see how it goes. Um, so if somebody wants to, we want to send a Bahamian, that, that's a dream of mine, mm -hmm. because I'd love to see somebody somebody compete in, in like an obstacle course component in, in the Olympics. But they'll also have to do fencing, swimming, and, um, and, and running. Right, so it's not... And, and shooting. It's not st standalone. No, it's not a standalone. Fencing, so again, fencing. Athlon, so fencing, swimming, uh, shooting, and running. I know... I know plenty by them. <laughs> who, who know how to shoot? Who know how to fence? No. They gotta learn. <laughs> but when you say fence, fence, that's climbing the fence, or that's something like that's sword fighting. That's sword fighting. That's, okay. that's fence. You have some pirates here still. Yeah, man. Yeah, we can do that. There, there wasn't even the fence that I was talking about. What kind of fence are you talking about? Oh, this buying and selling people things. Yeah, <laughs> and putting up fence yeah. on, but, the, on oh. other people's property. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know plenty by them. Who know how to fence? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shooting off at the mouth and yeah. jumping to conclusions I and. Understand. Yeah. See, we could do well at this. September 28th. September, September 28th. 28th yeah. At 6 a.m. in the yeah. morning. Yes. You're going to meet up at Crypto Island. Island. Crypto Island. And Island. that's on East That's Bay on Street? East Bay Street right before the bridge. Right before the bridge. Right? Right, right before. Right next to Green Pirate. Right next to Green Pirate. All right. Yeah. So as you know, I'll be watching uh, Challenge, which has uh, that's a reality competition yeah. show yeah. that includes a number of obstacle-type elements in the competition. 
and they have a food competition as well. And last week or the week before's episode, you have to compete like heavy physical competition. Then you have to stop and eat gross things. Oh, right. This texter is asking though, will there be any eating competition? So I'm asking two things. Okay, will Chichani challenge host eating competitions? And B, will you incorporate an eating challenge into your traditional OCR um, city uh, run? I'm going to write that down, and then maybe we could figure out how to do that. Yeah. Are they asking, are we going to boil 500 hot dogs and, and see who can well, eat right. the most? I don't know if it's that type of competition <laughs> or with the city run, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we had a ladder by hand or a rope, get up the coconut tree, yeah. open the coconut, drink the water the fastest. Empty the coconut. I know. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. That type of competition. I yeah. Know. Ever be able to open up a coconut, though? It just doesn't open for me. No? It don't work? I just knock on it. And it Interesting. No? Mm -hmm. Never. Never. You don't know? The you got to. With the back of the cutlass. Ah, uh, uh. No, never. I never open up a coconut in my life. <laughs> never. I let the boy who's be on the side of the road do that for me. Because yeah. the economy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I tell people because the economy, yeah. he needs to wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Vendors. So, sponsorship. Yeah. Um, will there be vendors at the site, like a buy stuff to some spectator? Or uh, what, what's so, happening? So right now, our vendors are giving away stuff. Oh, talk, uh, let's talk about vendors so who give away stuff. We're still waiting to finalize certain vendors, um, but uh, I will and tell giving you, away stuff. It'll be vend giving away stuff to the participant, or if to I come to the spectator. Okay. Yeah, yeah, to so the not the spectators. And, oh, I'm the spectators. Okay. okay. It's, All right. Know, so is there an entry fee for spectators? Uh, no, not at, not at this moment. No. Okay. There's no entry fee for spectators. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, just come come with your people and cheer on your people. But like, what if I brought a small pot of boiled fish to share amongst my friends? I mean, us who come in to watch. Yeah. Or my own cooler. Bring your, bring your, bring your. Well, it ain't a cooler fat, so. No, it ain't a cooler I know, fat. I know about that one. Okay. <laughs> bring my own cooler. With non alcoholic <laughs> drinks in it? With non alcoholic drinks in it, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gatorade and thing. Yeah, we're not encouraging. Don't encourage me to drink first thing in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah you discouraging so, me from running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Lightborn. Lightborn Trading was coming to give away some things. I like that. Okay. Yeah. They, so have a they lot always got a lot of good stuff. They have a lot of good stuff. Lightborn Trading. Tiger yeah. Bomb and deodorant. I don't know. I don't I know. I mean, those are the two most important things for a run <laughs> like that. snacks. <laughs> I know. I buy they, snacks from there. They haven't told me what they're giving away, but yeah. they they coming to give some stuff now, away. In, uh, there's another partner, a health affiliated partner. Did you say? Who that? I thought you said at the top of the show, who doing the health things? Who gonna look at me and say, "Green, you're tired already"? I don't. Hey, we we haven't found that person yet, but uh, if they want to, it's available. Okay, okay, all yeah, right. That, that spot is available. So people can still partner and call and say, "Hey, yeah, I want to yeah, be absolutely. there with my health products and my this, that, and oh, on yeah, display, yeah. Yeah. whatever it is, in contact with you." And if, Remind if, me if you want to come sell food, food, that too. Hey, you sell food. Too. Remind me how to contact you if I want to partner early. Because if it's yeah, six o'clock in the morning, I'd like to do some sauce and some stew fish, a bacon. I just say me. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, find, find us online. Uh, look up Chick Johnny Churn or Chick Johnny Challenge. Uh, you could just do a quick Google search. You'll find us. Mm -hmm. uh, there ain't many of us Chick Johnnies around. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, not that you could see because they even though that's what they do. Yeah. People call us Chick Johnny Farms all the time, but big up to them too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we, we still have space for, for, for vendors and, and people who might want to participate with us. Uh, we, 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 couldn't, we can't do this alone and, and we haven't done it alone if I could mention um, who's helped us out because yeah, we've, yeah, we've yeah. bootstrapped this business for nine years. We, mm -hmm. we've, we've looked for funding, but it's been difficult. Um, uh, God bless SBDC. They tried to help us through this. But um, Advantage Insurance, Island Yogurt, Pop-Up, uh, Kalina, uh, big one. They've been with us for a while. J-Line Fitness, Art of Graphics, Crypto Isle, of course, Guardian Radio 96.9, Comfort Suites has given some prizes away. Uh, mm -hmm. so they've been very helpful. Collect Light, obviously, we're going to have that at the finish line. Um, and give some of, some of that away too. Are you so, registered with uh, BASE, Bahamas Association of Shore Excursions and the Tourism Development uh, Corporation? No, not yet. Not yet. Go, go check we, them out. We've, uh, like I said, yeah, this, this, has been, this, is, this has been a, a labor of love for nine years. And it's growing. It's growing very small, very slowly, you very think, steadily. You think we could convince Comfort Suites since he's sponsoring to have a team? Say, man, y'all send me four or five of them. They could send some people. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. I'm trying to convince you Dwight try. now to send us, have a spot, Guardian, have a team. I have been trying to convince Dwight to come do this for a little while. <laughs> y'all need to drag yeah, him out. We could do a Guardian radio. Y'all need to uh, drag him team. out. Listen, yeah. there's, um, I think what would be a cool idea, the number of young vendors 
who have like mobile services, right? Yeah. Like screen printing. Yeah. You all come call Chester Robots and Chikjani Challenge, Chikjani Chirin. So when Aaron completes the Chikjani run, I could screen print my T-shirt that said I completed the run and no Chikjani's were needed. I, I didn't need no obey. Oh, yeah. this thing. <laughs> so and, and none were harmed in... in what about merchandising? Merchandising? Yeah, I don't know, do I get one shirt? You get a shirt. I would get a shirt. You get a shirt. I pay my $75 and I get one you shirt. You get a shirt and you, get a, and you get a medal. I get, I get a medal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets a medal? Uh, everybody who finishes gets a medal. I have to finish first. Yeah. So that's a key thing. I gotta finish. Yeah, you gotta finish it. You, you see, the, finish. you see the. You you can't come through the front. You can't come through the front gate, and be like, <laughs> I ain't doing the rest. Yeah, of yeah. This. <laughs> and you get I gotta finish. I, I gotta finish first. That's a caveat there. I mean, I gotta try to finish, right? Yeah. But what if I can't finish? But I try. What if I? What if? What if the spectators say, Chester, so, she tried. So the good the good thing about it is, uh, as you complete an obstacle, like if you finish, if you actually do it. And complete it. Uh, we're gonna mark that on your bib, and and you move on. We have something called penalties if you can't do it or don't want to do it, and that'll be like push-ups, jumping jacks, um, and then you okay. then we can consider that obstacle completed for you after you do your penalty. Nobody's again. Nobody's there whipping you, making you do these things. I can need that though. <laughs> so, I, I need a little plantation motivation. So yeah. explain that penalty thing. Yeah. If something I cannot do, what happened? Right. You you gotta do the penalty is is push-ups. Or jumping I, jacks. And that replaces the obstacle. The obstacle. Oh, okay, yeah. I could do that. Yeah. Because you know, I'm still trying to picture that rope climbing thing. So I, I might could do like a yeah. thousand, not to say that you many. Can, but you can do it. You I can, can do I can it. do it. Yeah. See, you can I like do how it. you do, motivate me. Uh, you, I'm telling you, I'm, you, can, you do can do it. it. I've, seen, I've seen little women who hadn't done it before, uh, who may not have what you call upper body strength complete the rope climb because they got the technique down. Little women like dwarfs? <laughs> no, not like that. I, Say I, what? <laughs> it's just a little woman. Like I, I, my visual is different. And he just beated me. And I just went down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Listen, you have to start the day with some Goku Ganep to yeah, get your yeah. brain firing yeah. properly, okay? Yeah. yeah. I, I watched Lord of the Rings. It had the, anyway, let's just change, let's change, let's change the subject rate, right? So this is September 28th. September 28th. It's yeah. going to be 6 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Right? You can register and give me the price them again. So, for, yeah. For, especially for the young people, the 70 year olds who participate. Yeah, individual, $75. Um, if you're in a group of four or more, it's 65 per person. If you're uh, under 18, it's $50. And if you're in a group of four or more and you're under 18, it's $45. Yeah. So that's, so, a, that's a good price for youth, a number of yeah. youth people, so, like some swim teams and those athletic if, groups. So often you, you seem like uh, people think the price is a deterrent. You, you don't find 5Ks and, and those kinds of things and typically for that price. Mm -hmm. um, it's because this is, this is much more than that. This, yeah. this, is, this is a production um, that we have to put on for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you, re you get a really cool medal. Uh, we designed the medal this year. I designed the medal this year. Um, and I designed the t-shirt. Um, I think it's great. I, I want to wear a t-shirt right now. But. I just want someone to take my photograph while I'm climbing the rope. Okay. Let you see me. See, that's me what, there what, going up. Again, what's, uh, I'll tell you, what's great there is the, the rope climb is at Crypto Wild. So everybody's going to get to see you no, try this rope. No, wait, wait, sorry. This is <laughs> Aaron, I want to see you climb this rope. Yep. Yeah, no. We do it anyway. So I well. mean, you may not see me climb the rope. You'll definitely see me fall from the rope. No, I can okay. guarantee that. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm having fun about it, right? So yeah. how many obstacles are there? So there are going to be 15 obstacles. We might throw one or two more in there. Mm -hmm. um, but 15 for sure, you're going to have to go through. Mm -hmm. to, so, to complete, I should say. And, and list some of the obstacles that I can anticipate. So people who listen and say, right. who, who wants to participate, right, know exactly these are the things you may have to be doing. Yeah, so you got the rope climb. And you, you that's got basically climbing the rope. Climbing the rope, yeah. And I can opt out that and do some kind of penalty. Right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You got the eight-foot wall. Um, it used and to be it used What do you mean by feet. the eight-foot wall? What is that? So exactly? it's a straight vertical wall that you got to hop over, just like your, your house wall. And how do I get up? It's a wooden wall. Um, well, if you, if you don't, so there's a technique for that as well. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily need upper, upper body strength, but if you could jump up and grab the top and swing your, your leg up, okay. you could hook your heel. In, in rock climb, we call it a heel hook. Wow, you wow. could hook your heel and then you, you drag yourself over with your foot. Okay. That's 
you know where they teach that technique as well? Where? Where? There's a class called How to Find a Husband and Keep Him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture how Ken Ring will do that right now, but that's okay. But, but, but typically in, in these events, you find at the, at the tall walls, you find, that's where you find all the teamwork going on. Yeah. That's where you find people ah. helping people over, over yeah. those obstacles. Good. Good. Yeah. I have a plan. Uh, Go yep, ahead. Yep. What, what is the next option? And uh, so then you got a sand bag hoist. So you, you use a rope. You got to pull that bag, a weighted bag, up to the top, let it back down. I, okay. I said let it back down. This is not, you, get a, you get a penalty for dropping the bag. You don't just let the rope go. It's a, it's a, it's a, you, yeah. you kind of slowly lower the bag. It grip strength and muscle so, control. Right. And so in, right. So in competition, you don't raise the bag and just drop it. Mm. You got to lower it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. What else? Yeah, uh, you got your sandbag carry. You got your atlas carry. Uh, atlas is just a big cement ball. Um, I thought it was a map. Yeah, no, it will. It looks like that. This is a globe, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the trick to some of these is is you can't like in competition you can't shoulder these things. So you can't throw the atlas on your shoulder, mm-hmm. which is kind of an easier technique to carry it. You got to carry it in front of you as, as if you're cradling a baby. Because I thought I, I mean. Anyway, I would love to see, uh, I just figured Cooper, I carried Exumo on my whole shoulder. Yeah. The whole thing I carried yeah. it, can't you see? And you say, after I pay my money, I get my shirt no matter what. When you cross the finish line. I guess well, you, can't I come finish? Through the, you can't come through the front door. I thought for the medal, not the shirt. All of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't give you the shirt ahead of the day. You, you get all of those things. Hey, wait, listen, if after you, you then do this. If you are interested in sponsoring a Guardian team to participate in the Chikchani Challenge OCR uh-huh. Obstacle Course City Run, run. Yeah. City Run. Uh, call Chester Robots and give him the money. I participate. <laughs> I'm definitely participating. Anyway, this has been Guardian Radio AM. Of course, Aaron Graham is with me. Of course, we had Chester Robard who's talking about the Chikchani Challenge. It's going to be on September 28th. Yes. Right. Anyway, have a wonderful Appreciate day. Appreciate it.